Welcome back guys, we are going to proceed from here we stop. Um, we will be able to implement the create channel page and also the ability to create channels. Now what we are going to do is the ability for users to edit their channel, probably update their channel art and the channel icon. So for us to do that, we are going to create the form for users to update their, their channel page. So we will head back to the form the 3 wi -Fi. We already have the form for create channel, so we are going to create so let's just to save time let's just copy and then reuse this but we're gonna make some changes we're gonna call this edit channel the same channel then the feed we want to edit is we want to edit the channel I think we have the channel art also the channel icon And uh, the description, I guess so. Okay, I'll send this to the description. All right. So these are the four feed that we want to the user to be able to update. The widget also. We have to create a widget for the. So we're going to paste in some Terry CSS and classes here for the channel icon. Alright, that's that for our widget. Then this, I want to change it to the description. Yeah, the description is going to be a test area, so that's for that. I think we are pretty much done here for the form. So we just save this and we head to the view. So we have to import that form that we just created right here. Also, we we'll call it edit channel form. That's right. We are defining a function called edit underscore channel which is going to take a request obviously and also the slug because we want to we want the uh, edit channel to be specific to the user that is logged in you cannot go and edit on that person's channel it has to be to your own channel so we need the slug which is going to be the user name of the user that is editing this channel all right so First, let's just return the template. Let's say return underscore channel dot HTML. Okay, that will be the template. We've not created this template yet. Let's hold on for now. But the form we have to bring the form here. First of all, we'll say if requests it method we will do something. But s Yes, we want to grab the form is equal to edit channel form. I want to pass the form to a contest. Edit form We're taking form. Alright, so let's pass this contest into our template. So we have the contest inside the template now. That's we can get the form from our ID template. So, yeah, if the form is valid, we we'll instantiate the form also. But this time we we'll, uh, request data, which is going to be the request. Post. All 
right? I remember we are also trying to update an image feed, so we also have to pass in request.fi because of the image feed. Because if you check the form, we have two file feed here, so we have to pass in request of file. So, so that's that. So, so we're going to check if, sorry, if form dot is valid. Normal uh, validation for form. The form is valid. All right. So we save the form. Say form dot save call the save method on the form, but before that we need to pass in the China instance that we are trying to update. So we need to get the instance of the China by querying for a single China. That's the China we are trying to update by saying uh, China dot objects dot dot get. I mean, I want to get the China whose slug. They are currently on which is you can see the slug equal to the slug coming from the URL or you can also query the slug by the user the logged in user because the slug is also the same thing as the logged in user so we are getting the slug from the slug from the slug here so that will be our instance that we are trying to update so we need to pass the instance into a uh, uh, request by saying instance to the channel we just created all right that's for that also we need to pass it into the form get request also so when we get the form the form should be pre-populated with the um, previous data that we're trying to update so we're going to pass the channel also because that's the channel we're trying to update all right so once we save the form we update the form we saved we want to return the redirect so we need to import that i guess i've imported it let me check okay i've imported it i used it before so we just return a redirect we want to redirect back to the channel's home page so we can just get that because we did that before here just copy the full um, redirect because we want to redirect back to the channel's page that's here all right so once we grab the form data we validate it we save it and we direct back to the page okay so i can if we head back to our, our uh, template sorry in template inside the channel folder we create another file we call it an edit underscore channel dot html all right so we need to extend our base now okay, we can just grab everything from the channel's home and make some changes see and just move it over okay so we make our changes we we'll change this to edit or update update the channel then we we'll need to grab everything inside the everything inside the block we want to get rid of them so take out everything here but wait we will need to grab everything inside the tab we don't need the tab take it out we need the basic the we don't need this also we have to take it out okay so we don't need this let's see how we can use this container let's take out the channel out we don't need channel out we put our form inside this container but the height we will increase the height a bit let's just give it the height of auto for now 
we change that later because we don't know the specific height our form is going to take so if we didn't here we can place the form let's create a form tag and here we're going to pass in our form from our contest we'll give it a method of save a method of post I mean. yeah, we need to set the end type because we are actually posting image files so post the end type without that it won't work so let's put in our csrf token then within here we can just create a div as a kind of simple container where we can just pass in our form we call it edit form just copy that and just pass it as edit form dot as as a p but then we need to put in the button the submit button which will be button order not as blue these are theory css classes Margin top and bottom two and margin left and right four. These are theory CSS classes, alright. So we can give it a little rounded border. Alright, as for that, also the CL looks face before we know how to position the height. Then we have our form, then we have our button, submit button. I think we can. We are ready to preview. We don't need this for now. I'm not using this in particular case, but we can take this out since we have nothing here. So if we save this now, let's go back to our view and double check. Alright, we're creating the channel. Seeing if the request of method is post. Post supposed to be a string. Alright, so let's double check again. Want to grab the request, grab the file in the instance, then validate the form submit. So I'm just double checking if there's a case we have any kind of error. Right, everything is intact, so we need to take this to our URL. So let's copy this in function and head back to our URL the file file. And here we're gonna recreate this. Let's just for import this one and then kind of recreate this. Let's copy this and then this time we'll call it channel or let's say update channel to make it different. Update underscore channel then you follow by this log. Then you want to change the function to edit channel. change it to update as channel all right so that's the URL file the URL, the URL part is already set so we can grab this um, name so we head back to our channels page to home. all right so we head back to where we have that button here we have this button that Kind of lead to buttons that lead to edit but so we need to change this from button to link to an a tag so we can add the href to it all right so we can pass in our link now by just simply using the so you are uh, you are a complete all right then what the slug we equal the channel the slug because we already have the channel and distance here so we just get the channel that slug all right as the slug that's supposed to go through is a URL feed okay I think we are good to go 
so if we save this and then let's check if our server is running Alright, so we'll head back to our, our browser. So once we refresh, you can see when you hover over the edit channel, you can see the link at the bottom of the page here. So let's test that that page and see if it's working. Once we click, it took us to edit channel's page. Okay, this is our form. So let's try and uh, add some little padding between our form and let's see if we can do that. Uh, from the py so in the we just add inside the classes here here we have the classes we add the, the mb so mb dash 2 to save and to head back and then refresh alright so we have the two margin at the bottom okay that's for that and for some reason our uh, china name is showing but we are not getting the description okay we don't have any description yet okay it's cool this art now let's uh, upload our own channel art because it's using the default channel art so we can choose a channel art let's just choose the random file and test this out let me see if we can get any other kind of background Okay, let's choose that as our channel file and let's choose a channel icon let's choose this our channel icon all right so let's give a test description If we update, all right, we are having an error. You see, name user not defined. So let's try and find out where that is coming from. You tell me redirect user dot username. Okay, I see where that error is coming from. Uh, it's trying to redirect to. Remember we say should that it's okay, it's supposed to be request request dot user. So we cannot say user dot username because the reason why we say user dot username in the first because we stored the in the create channel because we stored the user. That's why we were able to get user the username. So that's why so it actually worked. It was trying to redirect, but the slug feed was not correct. That's why we got that error. So if we save now and we kind of um, refresh, you see it redirects to my channel space. You see that the update was done. Our channel art is updated now. Our channel icon is also updated. So our audit is actually working. So if we go now, you can see we can update our file. You can see the uh, test is showing, and the channel icon, the channel name is showing. Okay, so our update is actually working. We head back and it's working. So we can update our channel icon. We can update our channel uh, art. All right, that's all for this video. We'll continue in the next video see you guys in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe